What is up you guys? I wanna give you a quick update to my death pile situation. Last time you guys saw it, it was kinda of all over the place and recently, especially last night, I spent like three hours in here last night, I have made some strides towards getting things a little bit more organized. This table over here is pretty much cleaned off. I mean, I actually need to physically clean it because it's dirty, but most of the items that we had over here have either been donated or reorganized to this side of the garage. This is everything that I have that is currently not listed, except for the, this is that big tube thing that I picked up a couple weeks ago. Haven't sold that yet. Um, but this is everything that I, that I want to keep and get listed over the next, you know, 20 to 30 days. Both of these bins right here are filled with golf club head covers for the most part, a couple other things, but I don't want to donate these because these are easy to list and easy to ship. I just need to find the time to finish listing them. If you guys remember, I had two of these blue bins filled with golf clubs. And so I spent a little bit of time reorganizing and consolidating all of the unlisted golf clubs into this one bin. And then I moved the other blue bin, do, ugh, blue bin to the back to put my longer drivers and baseball bats in once they are listed. I had my drivers originally down here on this bottom shelf like the other clubs but they're longer than the irons and they were sticking out and just kept like hitting our ankles so I'm going to use this bottom shelf to store something else and just keep all the longer golf clubs back there. I've already gone through both of these shelves over here to clear out some items that were not really worth my time and in, in listing and I did donate maybe 20 or 25 items yesterday. I do have some space freed up on this bottom shelf down here and up there and it's not as many items as it looks like. I probably have I mean, the golf club head covers are a lot. There's probably like 50 golf club head covers. But if you take those out of the equation, I probably only have maybe 75 or 100 items total on all of these shelves. It's just not super organized yet. And the, the black egg crate bins kind of take up a lot of space as well. Uh, but I'm happy with this. I think in the next 20 to 30 days, I'll be able to knock out all of these items, get them listed on, on eBay, and also keep sourcing new items, which leads me to today's video. I'm really pleased with the work I've done in the garage so far. I think it's looking a lot better. Obviously, we still have a long ways to go, but I'm gonna take today and reward myself a little bit and hit up a couple thrift stores. Heading into the Goodwill bins first, I'll probably come back and go to the retail side after this. Um, a decent number of cars in the parking lot. Yesterday was half off day, and I came here off camera and I've never seen that many people in here at all. It was an absolute madhouse. So hopefully today is gonna to be a little bit more tame. VCR, There's a bunch of Magnavox. Here's a broken Xbox controller. A lot of interesting stuff today. It's a leather jacket. Looks pretty cool. Right here in front of me is some Nike shocks. I mean, they look pretty good. I think I am gonna go ahead and get these. I just bent them in the middle to make sure there's no cracks or anything, and they look pretty good. The only, like I said, the only thing I saw was an issue on this one where the Nike check was cracked. Um, but these are a women's size nine and a half, uh, in pretty good condition. So I just found this poster. It was in a glass frame, but the frame was broken. And so I pulled out the edge, little edge border over here, and the poster does come out. And that's pretty cool, man. 19, 1992. I'll just like gently roll it up. I don't know what it'll sell for, but I'm not going to leave it here. That's a bunch of CDs. There's a brand new Mizuno glove. 30 buck retail. Definitely gonna grab that. Another helmet here. Pink Adidas. Oops. I <laughs> should flip it. Adidas. And this looks to be in pretty good shape. Let me grab it. Here's that. Taz on the back. It's got Tasmanian Devil and the tag. Looney Tunes 1992. Great hat. It's blow mold. It is faded, but my last one was faded too. Oh, but this doesn't have a doesn't even have a plug. Hmm. I still think it'll be worth grabbing. I found this yesterday and posted it on my Instagram just for fun. And I had like four people that like asked me how much I wanted for it, but I didn't get it yesterday. I just like took the picture and then left. 
So I'm going to pick it up today because I already have people that are interested in buying it. This whole thing. This looks like a pretty good bin. I, mean, I don't see anything off offhand, but it just looks it just looked good when I first stood over here. Maybe not. This leather jacket was just like sitting at the edge of this bin over here. American top, genuine leather, size 44, made in Pakistan. Definitely like a grease biker vibe. It's got all these like little tassels and stuff. Not tassels, but you know what I mean. These things, the little lace holders. I mean, genuine leather. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop that. Controllers, oh, about to fall into this bin. Original Xbox controllers. And they look good to me. That joystick is missing the cover. I'm not just gonna leave them here. A little adapter too. Make sure there's nothing else. What is this? I think that's Xbox cords. I'm just gonna grab them just in case. A little pair of Tevas right here. Uh, somebody's tried to glue those back together. You see like the Gorilla Glue coming out of it. Not gonna mess with those. There's another Xbox controller right here. Power Power A. Uh, the A button is stuck. And it's, it's not like actual Xbox, it's Power A, so even if it was original Xbox, I would still buy it, because you can fix that, but this one isn't worth fixing. Okay, I'm not 100% sure what just happened, because it's not half off day to my knowledge. It should be $1.89 per pound, and I got this whole box. They don't charge for the boxes, um, and I actually still haven't shipped out the parachute that, that was won like a week ago. So I was looking for a box to ship out the parachute and I think it'll fit in this one. So um, they give you the boxes for free, but I filled it up. I mean, we've got that heavy leather jacket. We've got the um, the helmet down there. Like, a, I mean, a bunch of stuff. I mean, this is probably, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 pounds or so. Uh, plus the pumpkin. He charged me 50 cents for the pumpkin, which is awesome. But my total... He was like, your total is $2.39. I'm like, are you sure? And he was like, yep, $2.39. <laughs> so I paid $2.39 for the pumpkin, the box, and everything in the box. I mean, the leather, just look at the leather jacket, okay? Sorry my car is so grassy, it's from golf. Leather jacket, the Squidward painting, both of the Xbox controllers and all the, all the cables. I don't know if they work, and I don't even have an original Xbox to test them with, but all the buttons click appropriate appropriately. We got that cool, the cool hat. Oh, this, I thought that was a rip, it's not a rip. The Taz hat, that, I mean, that's probably a $30 hat as it is. Got the Adidas baseball helmet. Everything in here, we got the cool 1992, um, U.S. men's basketball team poster. We got the pair of Nike shocks. And we got the Mizuno baseball glove new with tags that was originally $29.97. And that was it in the box for $2.39. <laughs> this is crazy. So I found enough stuff at the Goodwill bins earlier that I didn't really feel the need to go to another thrift store today. So I headed back home, knocked out my shipping for today, and now I'm on the way to the post office. And after the post office, I'm actually gonna head back to Play It Again Sports. That's the sporting goods consignment type store that I went to in my 30 day challenge series a couple weeks ago. And I'm gonna take the Adidas uh, pink baseball hat that I got at the bins today and that uh, Mizuno baseball glove that I got at the bins. I'm gonna take it straight there and see if we can get maybe 10 or 15 dollars for the pair and that way I can move out some inventory and make some profit and move on with my life. In addition to the helmet and the glove I'm taking in there I'm also taking in this glove that was in my death pile. It's in good shape it just has like 
duct tape like right there I think some of the thing was coming off and it's just it's not really worth a ton I mean my, I might could sell it for like 15 or 18 dollars plus shipping so we're gonna see what he gives me for that I also have a bunch of brand new golf shafts these have never been used and I really don't want to deal with selling them or shipping them um, so I'm gonna see if he's interested they don't have golf shafts in the store and I don't know if people ever ask him so see if he wants those and I'll also grab like I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 uh, golf clubs from my uh, <laughs> golf club barrel in the garage. These are clubs that are unlisted currently and not worth a ton of money. I mean, they're valuable enough for me to hope that he wants them. Um, but if I can, you know, sell some to him at a slightly lower profit uh, than I could on eBay while also decreasing the size of my death pile at the golf clubs at least, uh, I'm all in for that. So we're gonna take all this stuff in into Play It Again Sports today see if we can make a little bit of cash in our pocket. So that actually went really well. They took every single thing I brought in there, all the shafts, all the clubs, the two baseball gloves, and the helmet, and they paid me a total of $120, which isn't bad at all. They said they could do 10 on the, the, the Mizuno glove and the helmet that I got at the bins today, and so the other $110 came from the other glove and all the golf clubs and shafts, which I am totally happy with. I probably could have made, I don't know, maybe, 250 bucks or so if I sold all that stuff individually on eBay, but I'm more than happy to be moving it out for a smaller profit. So I stopped at this Goodwill back here, but I forgot to take my GoPro inside. So I'll show you what I got, just a couple items. I picked up this blender, shout out Tim, I'm buying big stuff. This is the KitchenAid, uh, I forgot what model it was, KitchenAid model ksb 560 mc0 it was $3.94 and this should sell for about 75 bucks plus shipping uh it does work i plugged it in they taped it shut for some reason but uh that works that was good fun and i got this pair of shoes these are some nike hyperdunks uh these were six dollars and fifty cents uh good condition these are big they're a men's size uh size 14 uh, but good condition just need a little bit of cleaning and also picked up this baseball bat this is a Easton Rival um, model BV15XL, drop five. I think this is a senior league baseball bat. I'm not 100% sure, it's a little dirty, but I think it, most of this stuff will come off with a Mr. Clean Magic Racer. This was like a dollar, dollar ninety, uh, what was that? $3.89. So not a bad haul at all, but I am done thrifting for the day. I got some stuff out of my death pile, but I also put some stuff back in my death pile. So making some progress, kinda. Hey, Moes. Hi. I love you so much. So obviously I am home now, and even though I got new things today, new things to sell, my death pile doesn't look that much different. I do have the big pumpkin sitting on the ground, but I'm pretty sure that'll sell really quickly. The last one that I sold in my 30 day challenge. The lady specifically said if I ever get any more of the Halloween blow molds, Halloween themed blow molds to let her know and she would definitely be interested. So I think we can get that moved out pretty quickly. Uh, I'm pretty sure once I post on Instagram that I bought the Squidward painting, it should sell pretty quickly. Um, I mean, everything we got should should be fast movers. This, uh, this leather biker jacket, that was pretty cool. Um, this box is gonna be used to ship that parachute. So all in all, I think it was a good day. I, I, again, I'm happy with the amount of progress that I've made on my death pile so far, and I'm okay with you know trading some stuff out, getting rid of some of the golf clubs, even though it doesn't make a huge difference, and adding in some other items that I'm more passionate about doing the work to get them cleaned, prepped, photographed, and listed. And again, this Goodwill Bins haul was absolutely bonkers. Less than $3 for all this stuff is definitely weird. Like my Goodwill is supposed to be a dollar and 89 cents per pound, and I probably got I don't know, probably 15 pounds or more worth of items. So he definitely messed something up, but I don't know. I asked him if he was sure, he said yes. Sometimes Goodwill probably overcharges you for stuff and sometimes they undercharge you for stuff. So my philosophy is just to take the good with the bad and today was definitely a good. What's wrong, Mose? You wanna go outside? It's like 95 degrees, but if you want to, you are welcome to go. You don't wanna go? Can you feel the heat? Radiating is like opening an oven door. I think we should just stay inside. Yeah. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Obviously, I have a ton of stuff to do out here in the garage, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Thank you guys so much for watching. You're the best, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh.